Hello guys and welcome back to another model video and today as I promised last time I will be building this Airfix 172nd scale MiG-15 and it has two in the kit you can hear that hold up if I just the other kits in the box but outside the box is the other kit now this is all the parts it has some of these are broken <clears throat> and what I want to do is I want to show the process. I might edit the video to make it a bit shorter. But what I want to do is I'm going to build this up live, you could say, cleaning up all the parts with my hobby knife, gluing them, cutting them, and hopefully by the end of this, we'll have a MIG. That should be it. Mm -hmm. They seem to slightly droop. I don't know if you can tell, but these are very flimsy. That's annoying. I think if I keep it straight up like this, it shouldn't. Not a bit straight. One one wing went better better on than the other, which I mean. Some model kits have that going on for it, but the drooping, I don't know. But it's, I think it's fixed. Not on this one, it is. You can see that it's, it's drooping. I don't know what to do to, I don't know. I assume keep them like this, so it doesn't happen. But yeah, that's the best I can do. I think these are the drop tanks. Now, give me one second. I took off the mask so you can hear me. This is, I, the glue's technically sealed, so I should be fine. What I'm saying is I think these are the drop tanks. I know they carry fuel, but I know they're also detachable. Now, the reason I don't know what drop tanks necessarily do i'm saying i think these are these could be something completely different but i just know damn well these are no missiles but if anyone knows what drop tanks actually do uh please put it in the comments i'd love to read it 
I know a fair good amount about aircraft. I know G-Force, I know Elevation, I know a bit of it, but I just don't know some equipment names and whatnot. I know Afterburners, kind of. Page. And the next instructions appear to be adding to all the landing gear. It looks like it's a bit off-centered on this drop tank here. That sucks. But it's on. And it's already starting to look like a nice looking MIG. All right. I should be reading this shit. It actually has what you should be adding. Which is different because normal instructions just have the parts labeled on it and little symbols. This appears to actually have a whole step guide to show you what you should do. And then just has the numbers next to it with arrows pointing, which you can just use this, but. Mm. Maybe it does say what these things are. Fuel tanks is what these things are. I just don't know what fuel tanks do. Looking good. In the beginning half, it was a bit difficult trying to add the landing gear bay things. I don't remember their exact name. In the closed position. That's because this kit is not designed to have it in the closed position. All this year is because I had to chip it away and it's so crudely done. It's very bad, but it's kind of closed. And with paint, I can just, you know, hide it. And plus, it'll be in the air, so... Yeah, you will be looking at it, but I don't know. It just came out really bad. And I don't have putty, so I can't necessarily fix it. All I can do is just put a lot of paint and hope that like a paint blob forms, which would like cover it up essentially. All I have to do now is add the machine guns or cannons. The larger cannon and smaller guns, which smaller go here, larger here. And then the final instruction down here is adding the pilot, dive brakes, I'm just looking, radio antenna, cockpit, and whatnot. So let's finish this up.
How does it look? Very crude. I will have to give it my best. The stand for it is all right. I will turn it to side and I just hit the antenna. It's all right. Well, the stand for it has the aircraft like this. So it's almost as it's shooting out like this, but it's just in a straight line. I thought it would be more at an angle like this, like going upwards, but it appears just to be flying straight, which I think is all right. I just wish that they actually made this have an option to close the landing gear. However, as we saw, it did not, which sucked. Also, other complaints I have for this. Well, it's an old kit. Yeah, I'll give it that. But what I didn't like is that the instructions weren't so clear on where some parts go. They just tell you where they go, like literally tell you where they go. It's all right, but I just wish it was more straightforward. Also, some of the parts fit terribly, i.e. these landing gear that they can't come closed. The brakes, which don't really look so good at all. Which is, and also the wings are also a bit flimsy along with this landing gear bay. There are mold lines, which I would fix with my sanding paper, but that is when I would paint it. Now, how will I paint it? Well, it comes with two, and so many countries used the MiG-15 that there's a lot of options to choose from. But I will go with one of the deep ones that the kit came with, and it's not the Soviet one, but however, the Polish one. I would want to make a Polish MiG-15, and the other one, I might do an Egyptian or Iraqi MiG-15. Now, I want to do the... Now, I've seen in the Iraqi and Egyptian, I believe, are both in just a standard silver, which is kind of boring. So for this Polish one, I will be doing research to see if I can find any camos or even parade ones as... I mean, it's flying, it's flying straight. That will be pretty cool in like a parade scenario. I mean... It has no weapons, it just has this. If it had bombs, then maybe I would do like, I don't know, something else rather than a parade camouflage, but I think that would be nice. Now, when I finish this kit, and if I post on my community board, I'll just take off these boards. I'll tell you how the figure comes together. If we take a nicer, close look at him, it, it there's a lot of flash, first of all, and it's very under detailed. I mean, I can make out goggles and a mouth, and he's holding a cup in his hands. Now I assume he goes on the seat as such, and then that seat plops in between those two parts right there. But if you can see through here, and if I can just, I don't know, stick the knife through the hole, you can see the knife through it. And now you can also see the end. So what I'll do is that with some plastic board or whatever, Cover up the front area right here so you can't see through it. So that would be easy. I'll paint it black as well. And other details I might add, um, maybe some photo etch if I can find some one, you know, some 170 second scale to make more detail. I'll also try to get some wire such so I can add the antenna at front. And maybe if I'm ever so eager for detail, get some cotton balls to make some, I don't know, jet smoke coming out from the exhaust. Either to represent afterburner or what not. Even if this thing had afterburner, I really don't know what it is in its powers. But this is the glass, so we can at least see how this looks when I add it. That's the wrong way. It looks quite crude. And in all fairness, it is. It is quite crude. The Soviets weren't known for having things Top notch. Well, I'll give you that. So when this thing will be added, it will look like that. It's all right, but really, I think the age of the kit doesn't do it justice. I should buy, and I think I will buy, a more modern Airfix kit of the MiG-15 and compare that one with this one. If that one is surprisingly worse than this, the real only difficulty I ever had with this was just this and because I had to do it myself and also these brakes. Everything else is just standard model kit stuff. Seam marks, the welding lines, parts that don't fit well. Every kit has that. 
even the better companies some tamiya kits have parts that are a bit flimsy the only flimsy thing on here was the wings honestly and that's fixed so, well yeah they're fixed so yeah but for my first jet i have another jet in my stash and i plan to buy another one this is a very good kit for jet i like how the mig 15 looks the mix series is probably my favorite of all jet aircraft next up would probably be mm, i'm already blanking on the name which sucks but it's the british jets are probably my second favorite after soviets but yeah that's pretty nice and if you ever so happen to find this kit uh do be aware you're gonna have to i 100 percent, and i break it i 100 percent suggest you get the kit and build it with landing gear down so you don't have to do this P putty would be recommended and also i would change out the figure if i ever could which i don't even think they have other soviet pilots but i can check but yeah that is the video i suppose another final look at how it came built nice and up close to the camera the cannons if you know what caliber these are i would love it if you guys could tell me this is a cannon i just don't know what i assume maybe i'm just spitballing 20 mil maybe 30 maybe 50 cal caliber i don't even think the soviets have 50 caliber the dish is probably the closest thing and i also wish this came with some ordinances so you can just add at the bottom i think this thing carried ordinances besides that it's a very nice kit. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.